Hi and welcome to the wood pigeon joining us then. Um, welcome to part two of Talk Books. And today I'm going to talk about one of my favourite books actually. And it's a favourite not so much because it's a really good read. Um, in parts it can be quite hard going. Uh, but it's one of my favourites because of the stories that it tells. Uh, it's called All Four Legs and it is written by J.L.B. Smith. He's a professor of theology in South Africa and it basically covers the story of the seal account from when it was rediscovered off the coast of South Africa and it had been thought to be extinct for around about 70 million years and it follows that story through then to how he became involved because he wasn't actually the one that did the discovery and I'll let you find out how the story went and uh, how he then sort of got some would say obsessed, and I can completely understand why. Um, it's a story that involves him basically trying to find a live coelacanth, and it had a, a profound impact on the science community for a start, because the coelacanth for a while was considered to be a missing link between sort of ocean animals and, and land animals. Um, it also involved a diplomatic incident between France and South Africa. I'll leave you to discover that one. It, um, he, he was a really sort of quite strong character, uh, Mr. Smith. He actually convinced the Prime Minister of South Africa to loan him a military plane when they had found the second sealer camp to actually go and pick it up. And that's a clue to what the dip uh, diplomatic incident was. Um, so, yeah. Really, really good book. As I say, more for the story than how it's written, but it's it's an incredible story, and, and to the extent that I, I'm, a, I'm quite hooked on coelacanths, and, and I'm actually putting a talk together that um, I'll hopefully deliver in the future. So that's all four legs, and then about forty years later, we have a fish caught in time, which is by Samantha Weinberg. Uh, this is, it pretty much parallels this book, it tells sort of pretty much the same story um, and you can probably get away with sort of just reading this one if you, if you want to know about the coelacanth and it tells the story again but brings it a little bit more up to date because following the discovery of the coelacanth there, there was a lot of toing and froing in the, the science community about um, whether this was the missing link and the story actually, as it's as fascinating really as the one about the coelacanth, and there is a very good book out about that, which I will probably tell you about in the not too distant future. But Samantha's book is, it's a very good read. It is a lot more accessible, a lot easier read than Mr. Smith's. And I can highly recommend it actually. It's, it is, tells a really good story really well. So in the next, talk books. I'm going to move from fish to a couple of invertebrates and I'm going to talk about a book that actually I only discovered recently and it's, it's actually a really good read and when I show you the title I want no laughing. Um, this is The Secret Life of Flies. Uh, it's a great book by Erica McAllister and I can highly recommend it and I, I'm, I'm going to be telling you about that in the, in the next part of my talk books. And because obviously you can't talk about flies without talking about spiders, sort of, and we're going to also talk about this book. Now this book is, it's by Helen Smith, and it's about the sort of reintroduction of the fen raft spider into Redgrave and Lopham Fen, but it's, it's sort of a little bit more than just that. Uh, it's about the spider itself, and there's some extremely good artwork in there by Sheila Tilmouth. And it's a really, really good book, and I'll be talking about that in the next part of Talk Books.